Are you tired of reading and hearing politicians and pundits tell us what the American people want or what the American people don't want? It's difficult to find a news publication or political debate without someone waxing eloquently on their understanding of what we the people want in the way of tax reform, social security reform, immigration reform, foreign policy, or domestic policy on any number of social or economic issues. As a communicator, you have the same skeptics as those who watch network news or read these stories online. My point? Overstatement sets you up for failure. Let's say you're having lunch with colleagues or clients and someone says, I heard the funniest story yesterday. You're not going to believe this. It's hilarious. A typical first reaction from listeners will be, oh yeah? Try me. Then after they hear that story, there's often the letdown. The that wasn't so funny. Why? Because overstating the case begs people to be skeptical. Give your audience, for example, readers of your proposal or listeners in the audience, give them the facts and then let them tell you how impressed they are. Unsupported generalizations tend to either push people to the opposite extreme or drag them along screaming. Consider generalizations the careless person's habit of writing their facts rather than researching the facts. Here's some examples of common statements. As leading experts have noted and they're thinking who, where? Or another one, few will doubt. Well, if they, that's true, why point it out? Or another one, few will argue with the fact that, and people are thinking, is that an attempt to keep me from arguing? Or most users prefer, and they're thinking, which surveys are you referring to? Or the vast majority of physicians and attorneys today agree that. And people are thinking, are you kidding? Agree? All of them? Several professors at major universities, and people are thinking, right, like which ones? Your graduate advisor and who else? If they disagree, are you saying that they're not a major university? To sum up about overstatement, speakers, writers, consultants, salespeople, engineers, PR specialists, physicians, and attorneys around the globe, in fact, anyone who needs to persuade anyone else as part of their job will agree that sweeping generalizations have no place in serious communication. Any skeptics out there regarding that last generalization I just stated? You see what I mean about begging you to disagree?